Gypsies. Gypsy Dean with his new machine. Yes, this September 16th was my birthday, and finally I got what I wanted. A new fat tire electric bike. A Himaway. It's a powerful machine, let me tell you. Okay, well, let me show you some of the features. Okay, well, this is a electric fat tire bike made by Himaway. Has four inch by 26 inch wheels, big meaty tires, has a headlight for nighttime. And back here we have a 750 watt motor, high torque. And to power that, we have one of the biggest batteries you can get, a 17 amp, 48 volt power plant. Comes with a rear rack and front and rear fenders. But right now I only have the rear fender on. It has a brake light, daylight, and here is the control panel. The bike has seven speeds, gears, and it has nine different levels of power assist. And there's a throttle so I can just do nothing but turn the handle and go. And this baby really goes, I'll tell you. Okay, it's another beautiful day here at Lake Chapala. Okay, gypsies, there's more to this story. It was quite an ordeal to get this bike here to Chapala. I bought a round trip airfare ticket from Guadalajara to Tijuana with no luggage. The price was very low on Volaris. So I flew to Tijuana, took the CBX border crossing, and from there took a Uber to a shopping center where at the UPS store, the bike was waiting for me. That's where I had it shipped to. So with the help of a taxi, brought it back to the border and the help of a hand truck carried that big box all the way through the bridge, through the first inspection, the x-ray machine, and then we took it up to check in for the flight. Well, when I finally got up there, the people asked me, sir, is there any air in the tires? I go, yes. I go, well, then you cannot fly this bike because the tires will explode at high altitude. Oh my God. What am I going to do? So after thinking for a few minutes, I decided, heck with it. I'm not going to take the bike out of the box and try to somehow get all the air out of the tires. Plus, I had the battery to deal with. You cannot fly with the battery. I was going to have to take it to a uh, UPS or FedEx place to ship it. And that would have cost money. So I had the attendant help me with the hand truck. We went to the taxi stand and I took a taxi to the Tijuana bus terminal. Yes, no problem to travel by bus, but it was a 37 hour trip. That's right, 37 hours I was in the bus. Bus stopped twice for meals at really bad places. <laughs> there were three times we had to stop for a police inspection and then there was a stop at the Customs Depot, which was past Mexicali. And they wanted me to pay duty on this. I, I said, no, I'm not paying duty on this. I'm a tourist. This is just here with me. Well, after some arguing, I finally escaped paying duty, which would have been over $300, I'm sure. So 37 hours later, I was in Guadalajara at the, bus at the bus station, and then I took a taxi from there to my place here in Chapala. That was almost another hour. Quite an ordeal, but this baby's here with me and I'm happy. Okay, gypsies, well, hasta la proxima. Adios, amigos. Gypsies, please help my channel out by giving it a thumbs up, 
or leaving a comment. Okay, adios amigos.